I said, you are the next in line to your outgoing pastor. Henceforth, you are the new pastor of this church because there's no plan from the headquarters to bring in another person. Thank you very much, sir, for the privilege. Thank God. I appreciate, sir. Pastor, please, 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 don't make my husband the pastor, please. Please, I'm begging. Why, madam? Is he most qualified for the position? Pastor, no. I just don't want him to be a pastor. Eh? Choose another person, please. Please. Uh, oh, honey, you don't want to be a pastor's wife? No. I don't want to be. I just don't want to be. But, madam, why don't you want this position of honor for your husband? <laughs> you are in the dark. <laughs> My husband cannot handle the church. Ha. He will spoil everything. Ha. <laughs> He will spoil it all. But how do you mean? He is a minister already. Let him remain as a minister. Eh? Please. Not a pastor. But he has been chosen from the headquarters already. Sir, please. Go back to the headquarters. Tell them that. The family said no. No. Ah. But my dear, why are you embarrassing me? Why are you embarrassing me? <laughs> But how do you mean, madam? Dapo cannot control the church, even his family. He cannot control it successfully. Talk less of the church, the church of God. Hey. He's ambitious. He doesn't have any interest in the work. He just wants to take the position at all costs to satisfy his ulterior motives. <laughs> what motives? Motives like taking advantages of women and young ladies in the church. And that is what we have been battling with in our home. He doesn't always support the decision of the uh, outgoing pastors. In the matter of disciplinary action, he turned the church upside down just because of ambition to be in charge and to rule. Although he gives. But to those people that, that, that are known that I give back to him, especially women. Pastors, do you know how many women have confronted because of their ungodly closeness with my husband? Do you know how many hot brushes with me? Because I saw their aromatic messages I said to my husband <laughs> pastor do you know how many how many issues we have covered so as not to watch our, our dirty linen in the public hey pastor i'm closer to my husband i'm closer to him and as you are looking at him he has made a lot of promises that he will change but for where he never kept it all so pastor you don't even know him at all do you no do you mean your husband has been playing game with women outside there? Ah. <laughs> Not only play games, but he score goals. Will you keep quiet there? Mm. Will you keep short? Come Begin. down. Come down. Come down. Please. 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 Come down. And thereafter, a bot. Ha! Jesus. And you didn't report him? <laughs> Report. So who? Ah. <laughs> he has warned me <laughs> with several beating not to allow third party in our family. And I agree with him. Because he's my husband. And he's my cross. So I have to paddle the canoe gently. So that peace can reign in my family. Are you saying you have been suffering in silence? Yes. My mother has been suffering in silence in the hands of my dad, who is a thorn in her flesh. And that is why she has been praying for us. And can't say. Yuka, keep quiet! You too! Let him talk, let him talk! I've known my father right from age four to be a liar. And he also taught me to be one, even right from my childhood. And yet, he has not stopped lying. Sars. How can you make a liar, I mean a cheat, an adulterer, a pastor over innocent and godly people? 
what kind of pains is he going to lay on them? And what kind of spirit is he going to transfer to them? <laughs> My father, who cannot undo ordinary money devotion, now has been given a mantle to lead the church. Sars, before he brings shame into our family and into the church, we better stop him now. That was why I came down from school when my mother told me is to be made a pastor. For God's sake, Sars, for heaven's sake, don't try it. With due respect, sir. So, my pastor's Mommy, please, don't ever try it. Don't make me so please. I'm begging you. Until I can vote for him. Please. Oh, women, you are our mother. What a precious jewel you are. You are our hope. You are everything we depend upon. Why do you go into prosmiquity, selling your body? polluting the world upon all the blessing entrusted upon your life have you forgotten that your body is the temple of the holy spirit you adulterers and adulteresses don't you know that friendship with the world is enemy with god whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy 